We both know how this has to end. So. Ready? I'm going to make you... Mm.
know. Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. They built it. There has to be a way. We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, a reporter in Diamond City. I'd say we had her talk to through. Diamond City it is. Chin up. I know the night just got dark. But it won't last forever.
Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. <coughs> but there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brain blown out, huh? His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it would be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. Guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no lead. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. So I'm going to introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're going to get the boy back. 